very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so as usual we just wanted to share with you the results of our extreme trader forex signals group and we have to say that this week we didn't do as well as we are usually doing um, the results was not that good to be honest with you it was somehow ranging between losses and profits uh, some losses here and some good profits there as you can see uh, pound AUD 60 pips of, uh, of profit pound CHF close now with 30 pips of loss uh, CHF GPY 50 pips of profit uh, then the next day we can see it was full of profits all the signals actually has reached their take profit level number one at least and some of them re reached uh, take profit two and three uh, then the next day as we can see it was also ranging it was normal 100 pips of profit on the CAD CHF, 20 pips of loss on the pound USD. Then as we can see CHF, GPY and EuroCAD, both of them with almost 50 pips of loss against pound GPY 35 pips of profit, CAD GPY 100 pips of profit. Uh, the day Thursday was actually bad day as we can see. Euro, Euro GPY, NZD GPY, USD CAD, all of them closed in losses. However, we just needed to explain here, my friends, that this is really normal. I believe we are doing a lot much better than other signals providers who are just letting the trade to hit the, uh, the stop loss. And if we didn't announce to close the trades earlier, the losses could have been bigger than that. We are doing our best to save your account but however it is very important to explain here something that we are just the forex signals providers we don't do funds management i don't do funds management my friends i cannot tell you what to do i cannot tell you place the trade now close it now that i cannot tell you you have to understand the difference between forex signals and the account management we are really hardly trying to do the both of them however i don't think we can continue doing that we are just gonna send the signals and just leave it up to you uh, to take it or not because that is what signals pr provider is doing we don't do funds management and i hope you guys can understand that as you can see friday we have ended the day in profit however somehow some members yet they are still angry upset because the pound gpy hit the stop loss against pound usd 30 pips of profit pound cad 20 and nzdchf another 20 pips of profit we have some uh, members who really understand how forex works they have already renewed their memberships and those who have joined recently who have sent us a good messages and positive feedbacks about uh, accepting what's happening that it is normal that is how forex uh, work and we cannot be blamed for every single thing happening in this world which have led to the to these losses so anyway uh, in general i believe we are still doing a lot a lot better than other signals providers and in the end if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so allow me please to show you one example why Salah cannot be blamed for everything happening in the Forex market. Um, this is example of what I sent uh, on the weekly analysis, uh, oh, sorry, on the midweek analysis video. I sent the signal that we can start shorting the Euro USD on the level 1.10168. As we can see, the signal is perfectly, perfectly fine. And the market has reversed exactly at this point here and went down for almost let's see how far almost 62 pips before started rising again now what was the reason for this breakout here i have explained it in the other video that this here uh, at 4 30 pm uh, the prelim uh, gdp qq uh, the news was bad for the usd dollar which has led eventually for the rise of the euro usd so that's the reason euro usd has rose above the resistance level the analysis itself was correct. However, we uh, we have to understand that Forex market doesn't work based only on the technical an analysis. There are a few other things that control the markets. One of them is the economic news or the leaders statements. Please, we have to pay attention for that. And for that reason, I wanted to check with you first what the, what are the upcoming news this coming week. So uh, we can expect on Monday, June 1 that NZD and CHF uh, is going to be very low on volatility because the banks are going to be uh, off 
on holiday however 6 p.m we are gonna have the usd for the usd we're gonna have the ism pmis uh news which is actually might affect the signals or the analysis you are about to see here so please pay attention to that it might change the news however it's all up to the announced or actually the actual news they are going to announce um just having these high impact news doesn't necessarily means that the market is going to change the, uh, the direction it is of course of course it is all based on the actual announcement or the news then tuesday we can see that i don't think much is going to happen on tuesday um wednesday i don't also think much uh, much we, we can expect i don't see any that in news that usually changing the direction of the market except for the aud gdb qq actually it might uh, affect the market if in case it was very bad or good for the currency uh, Thursday I don't think anything is gonna affect also these news which usually don't really make that uh, change in the direction uh, Friday we can look for the USD CAD which is gonna be the unemployment rate for the CAD and for the USD as well by the way uh, this is forexfactory.com and if you need to know the exact timing of, of uh, the news you need to click here on the timing and just change it to your local country as you can see since i live in united arab emirates i selected abu dhabi and this is the time right now and yes it is right now 3 34 a.m and you have to check that my friends and be sure that you are following these news you have to uh, put them in the reminder or somewhere just be ready for any uh, potential changes in the market direction so now let's go to the analysis and stop wasting your time let's look at the euro usd so what happened with the euro usd right now after the breakout from that resistance level right here we can expect from the euro usd to continue rising and i'm expecting from the euro usd to continue rising because of the uh, rio defense happening in uh, minneapolis in, uh, in usa i don't think the market is gonna actually fall down at this moment therefore let me just erase the current uh, or sorry the previous orders and let's replace them right now with the new orders i'm expecting the market to reverse on so let's just this time rely on the fibonacci retracement just to be sure uh let's just check it my friends exactly right here yes at level 50 we can start shorty uh, sorry buying the euro usd now as i said uh, the euro usd most likely is going to continue rising above that resistance level now we are expecting from the euro usd after hitting that resistance level is gonna fall down to retest the broken support line right here or sorry the the, the resistance line at uh, level 1.10570 i don't believe that the euro usd have the ability to actually go down below that uh, support level to retest that resistance it, i think it's going to continue rising as i said the dollar is actually getting much weaker right now uh, there are so many reasons for that uh, one of them is the the p pandemic of covid 19 and the events happening right now in minneapolis and so many other things actually affecting the dollar uh, one of them also is mr trump attacking uh, uh, network social so that's, uh, sorry the social network and twitter so all of that actually has led for the weakness of the dollar itself therefore i believe the euro usd is gonna continue rising and it's gonna hit that resistance level so uh, to make a short answer we can start buying the euro usd let me just make sure i'm, I'm selecting for you the best entry levels uh we can start buying the euro usd buy at the level 1.10581 and we can keep the trade running until it hit that resistance level right here so we can expect approximately 150 pips profit from the euro usd take profit is gonna be 1.12119 and uh, now for the stop loss i believe that we can close the trade with the loss in case we see the pair has eventually made a break out of this support levels right here and uh, failed the retest of the resistance therefore the stop loss is going to be actually a little bit huge it's, it's going to be about 90 pips however as i'm telling you always if you see a breakout candle then close the trade with the loss other than that you have to wait for the uh, for the pair to reverse 
sometimes the market might trick you sometimes you can see it will go against your analysis and you will believe that i have made mistake my analysis is wrong however you will be surprised later that the market has went in your direction eventually and you will wish that you have kept the trade running so that's my analysis for the euro usd and hopefully it's gonna work perfectly fine let's check right now the pound usd now for the pound usd as i said of course the we the usd is getting weaker and therefore we need to look at the uh, the pound usd and identify the strongest support level because we are going to actually start placing the buy orders now looking at the pound we can see that it has been ranging the whole friday on that resistance level so eventually i believe that we can witness another candle right here a, a red candle which is gonna retest that support level right here and from that point we can start again buying the pound usd and keep that red running until it hit that strong resistance level right here so that's gonna be our take profit level perfectly fine like that and let's just mark where we can start place the trade uh, let's use the Fibonacci retracement this time as well just to be sure and yes exactly it is at the level 38.2 I believe we can expect from the market to fall a little bit let me just see I don't think it's gonna reach 23.6 I think it's gonna reverse until hitting that support level right here let me just delete all of these lines and fix my entry le entry level exactly like that so I'm relying of course on that strong key support level therefore we can start buying the pound USD at the level 1 1 point sorry 1 1.2261 and keep the trade running until it hit that take profit level on the resistance 1.24652 now it's very important to mention that regarding the stop loss we are going to depend of course on the uh, breakout from that support level right here that support level because uh, if the pair is gonna actually break out of that support level it means that that's this trend line has eventually been breaking out and the market is gonna continue falling all the way until it hit that previous support level so that's gonna be our um, stop loss because as i said the breakout of this trend line here meaning the continuation in the breakout therefore i just need to stop the stop loss is going to be huge like that that's one of the reasons i so i don't uh, advise uh, using a stop loss we always have to prepare with the proper money management we are aiming 200 pips from this trade and therefore uh, the stop loss is going to be on 101 pips and hopefully that's not going to happen however for the sake of members who are complaining i have to place that uh, it's against my style it's against my advices however I have to do it anyway because I can see there is a lot of criticism about that one day actually I should make a video dedicated about how to identify the breakout candles so it will save your time and hopefully will save your account from be, uh, being blown away or blank out uh, blowing out sorry so anyway that's my analysis for the uh, pound USD and hopefully is gonna work out very well now checking more about the AUD USD let's check on the daily candles now uh, as you can see my signal is still uh, ranging for the AUD USD uh, as I mentioned the sell order on 0 0.66815 66815 it's almost here almost here let's say it's here and we can see that the pair has reversed for one almost 110 pips uh, in the right direction it didn't reach the take profit level as i said because of the news about the uh, prel uh prelimit or something i forgot the term <laughs> however um i think after what happened the aud usd is gonna continue rising however we just need to wait for the right moment to start buying the pair now what we can see right now is this bullish breakout candle from that re uh, resistance level as we can see we're having here a resistance level and the pair has eventually break out of it so we need to wait for the pair to actually continue falling a little bit more down before continuing rising i think it's going to continue the rise until it hit that resistance level which was even uh, in the past also a strong support 
uh, a strong key support level. So, uh, shit, the signal for the AUD USD is gonna be for the buy. Let me go to the four hour chart and let me just select where we can start exactly by the pair yes i believe right here let's just be accurate so it's gonna fall for almost 62 pips yes i think that is accurate so that is exactly where we can start buying the aud usd we can start the buy at 0.65958 and let's see how far we can keep the thread running. We can keep it running until it hit that resistance level, as I said, which was a previously key support level. So we can expect approximately 149, 140, almost 150 pips of profit. So the tech profit is going to be 0 0.67462. Now regarding the stop loss, as I said, uh, we're going to uh, close the thread in loss in case we see a candle break out of that support level therefore the stop loss is gonna be right below the support level so we can expect a hundred pips hopefully not gonna happen that's the stop loss on the level 0 0.64902 of course we need to understand also that seeing the market reversing below that support level is as well considered as a break out of this uh, support trend line so we can see that if the pair has reached my entry level, it's going to be perfectly fine to start buying the pair. And in case the pair fall down and break out of the resistance of the support trend line, we can expect a reversal at that support level. Sorry, uh, what, that, what am I saying? We, we can expect a reversal at that support level right here. Allow me to explain it again. I, I, I hate that when, when it's happening. Sorry. So I just wanted to explain to you what's going to happen if in case uh, it went against uh, our buy order. So right now the pair is ranging on the resistance, all right? So we can expect from the pair to reach this point level where I selected the buy order and the pair hopefully going to continue rising and hit the take profit level. However, what might happen is if in case you see the pair actually go down here, as you can see, we're having a supported trend line and we're having as well a support level right here. So the normal behavior of the candles, how it's going to work. And remember, I am on the daily candle, all right, on daily chart. So that is the support level right here. The market is going to bounce on that support and then retest the broken support trend line. And then it's going to continue falling. That is where is our stop loss. Therefore, uh, if in case the market is going to go below that level, we're still going to be fine. We can expect a reversal on that support and hopefully the retest is going to uh, fail and the market is going to continue rising. So I'm just explaining to you how to expect the market to move um, on uh, the next week. Therefore, that is exactly here, the support, right? Like that. Exactly, that is the support where I'm expecting the market to reverse if in case it went against our direction. And I said the stop loss below that support level because of course we cannot uh, put the stop loss exactly on it otherwise we are just gonna uh, blow the account like that so that is the uh, the tech profit level and uh, analysis for the AUD USD and ho I hope uh, you guys are gonna make some good profit out of this signal and let's check right now the USD CAD um, suddenly the recorder uh, stopped actually I noticed that the recorder was not recording so I need to do it again so anyway uh, for the USD CAD, I believe that the pair is currently ranging at that support level and it's going to continue rising until it hit that previous support level. And from that uh, point, we can start shorting the USD CAD and it's going to uh, go down to hit that previous support level. I believe the USD CAD is going to continue the fall. Uh, the bearish momentum is much stronger. Uh, we just need to wait the right moment to start shorting the USD CAD. Uh, I'm convinced that we can start shorting it at that previous uh, support level. However, let's just use the Fibonacci retracement just to be sure that we are on the right track. And as we can see, it is between 50 and 38.2. Uh, so I think this is a norm. Uh, this is a good entry for shorting the USD CAD. Let me just make it better actually. 
uh, let me just take a look at the left to find a strong resistance level at the very same point here and no that is our take profit and we went back to the current time let's just keep going back anyway um, we need to wait for the USD cat to reverse for almost 100 pips before we can start shorting the pair sell the USD cat at 1.38632 and then keep that trade running until it hit the take profit level take profit on 1.36439 um, buying the USD CAD and hoping for it to reach the entry point is not clever at all as we can see we are already having here uh, two attempts on the resistance so there is a chance there is a possibility that the USD CAD might actually continue falling immediately therefore we just need to be patient and wait for the exact right moment to start selling the pair um, for the stop loss it's gonna be above that uh, support level like that so we can expect for almost 88 pips of stop loss hopefully it's not gonna happen uh, 1.39476 yes correct so hopefully uh, the signal is going to be valid and going to give us a lot of profits. Let's check the USDGPY. USDGPY signal has worked fine, I believe. The pair has reversed already at my entry point and again hit that resistance level, then went again down, made that fake breakout and again it is in profit however we need to change that signal it's not that valid any longer let me just delete all the extra lines now let's look at the daily candles for the usd gpy now for the usd gpy as we can see right now it's ranging on that resistance level however i believe after seeing that candle the price action here uh, we can expect from the usd gpy to rise a little bit until we can start shorting it right on that previous resistance level right here I am just looking at that resistance level right here which was also in the uh, later on a very strong key support level and we can see it was also a resist a good resistance level right here so um, looking at the USD dollar right now and the USD GPY I believe we can expect a, b a bullish uh, uh, momentum for the meantime only until the candles hit our sell area or sell order then we can start shorting the USD GPY so for the USD GPY is gonna be for the short sell at 108.4 sorry 108.476 <coughs> and then we can keep the thread running until the market actually reach that key support level right here at the level one um, take profit at 106 sorry guys 106.457 now for the stop loss it's gonna be above that resistance level so we, this is exactly where we are going to place our stop loss uh, it's gonna be approximately 100 pips i know that stop losses are really huge or so, uh, it's big numbers however uh, it is what it is right stop loss at 109.517 so that's my analysis for the USD GPY and hopefully it's gonna work well let's uh, finally check the USD CHF as we can see USD CHF also the signal has reversed before reaching our entry point just by 7 pips and then went all the way up for 77 pips very close to the head, uh, take profit level so what's next with the USD CHF let me just get rid of all of that now as we can see for the USDCHF is right now uh, ranging at that previous support level and if we draw a, a support trend line we can see that the pair has, has actually break out from that support trend line and that is the breakout and we can expect from the market to continue the retest so therefore what I'm expecting from the USDCHF right now is to reverse at that support level it's gonna go up right here retest the broken support trend line and then from that point we can start shorting the pair again so for the USDCHF is gonna be for the short and let's be accurate as much as possible since as you know guys I really hate this pair it's just 
it's just you know ranging a lot and giving me a lot of headache really USDC HF we can expect for it to reverse for almost 64 pips before we can start shorting the pair exactly right here so this is where we are gonna start sell the USDC HF at 0 0.96759 and then keep the trade running until the market reach actually that support level exactly right here so we can look for approximately 152 pips of profit take profit is gonna be uh, 0 0.95229 uh, I'm, I really believe that the UCCHF is gonna continue the fall let me just continue uh, checking again on the daily candles I believe yes we can expect from the UCCHF to continue the fall uh, go back to the 4 hour chart and select our stop loss as we can see we're having right here a, a resistance trend line therefore if we see the pair actually breaking out of that resistance trend line we can uh, we can close the trade with the loss and I'm gonna make it above that resistance level exactly right here so that's gonna be the stop loss of 0 0.97394 that's my analysis for the USDCHF and hopefully it's gonna work well let's check right now the gold now regarding the gold uh, I was doing some analysis just to be sure of uh, the, uh, how it's gonna be and I believe this is the best level where we can start actually buying the gold as we can see uh, as we can see it's on Fibonacci uh, 38.2 uh, not to mention of course that if we go to the one hour chart we can notice here that we had a resistance trend line and the pair has eventually or the gold has eventually broken out from that uh, support uh, resistance trend line and after hitting the Fibonacci 61.8 the pair has finally reversed and I believe it's gonna continue falling all the way down until it hit that strong support level right here then from that point we can start buying the gold the gold actually gonna continue rising in my opinion in the long term it's gonna continue rising all the way until it hit that resistance level right here however I don't like to give uh, these signals for the very very long term therefore I'm gonna give the signal to start buying the gold buy at the level uh, 1721.14 that is exactly where we want to start buying the gold and keep the thread running all the way at least until it hit that resistance level above 61.8 and in my opinion if it exceeded that level of 61.8 you can keep the thread running until it hit that resistance level right here uh, as you know guys the broke out of the 61.8 is gonna be massive and it's gonna mean the whole change in the direction of the trend therefore um, I really hate giving these uh, long-term signals however I have to do it because it is realistic in my opinion and we can keep the trade running for almost 273 pips hopefully gonna be in good profit take profit is gonna be at 1748.62 now regarding the stop loss the stop loss is gonna be just right below that support level right here if we see the market uh, the gold actually fall down below that support level we're gonna close the trade with the stop loss I believe all of the stop losses I have selected are not gonna be reached to, to be honest with you uh, that is our stop loss 1709.34 so there is your weekly analysis signal I know the video is very it's very long however I just really hope you guys have learned more about how we do this analysis and please don't ever forget to check the market uh, news the economic news just be sure that you close all your positions at the time of these high impact news they might actually change the whole direction or the whole signal so until then I hope it's gonna be a very profitable week for everyone and I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.